Hi all, this is a publisher tutorial on how to create a drop caps in Microsoft Publisher. This is computer tutoring. Okay, so let's have a look at uh, Microsoft Publisher. If I just share uh, my screen here. Uh, so yeah, we've got publisher that's available. Um, the idea is, is you want to make the first letter to be big. So let's get some text in. Now, a nice little cheat or little hack is in Word. You can type in this uh, little shortcut, basically, to um, give you lots of text, basically, random text. So if you type equals lorem, so it's L-O-R-E-M, lorem, open bracket, we type in, say, nine in the brackets. So have a quick look, see there, if you see the lorem, nine, okay, that's good. So now when you press enter, you get nine paragraphs of uh, text. So I'm just gonna control A and control C, or you can select all and right click and copy, however you wanna do that. We swap back to publisher, and then we're gonna paste that one. I just do control V, but you can right click and paste if you want to as well, it's up to you. There we go, that's great. So I'm just gonna zoom in on the text, just hold down the control and use the wheel on the mouse. You can use this little slider down in the bottom right corner here as well if you want to. Um, but uh, I'm just going to bring a couple of paragraphs together as well, just click before that, just makes it look a little better. So just bring in a couple of these paragraphs. Um, so how do you do it? Well, first thing is you click on the paragraph that you want to create the drop caps on, and then under the text box format options, just at the top, as you can see, just here, so uh, if you just click on that just there, uh, then over here, if I just move myself out of the way, under typography, so you can see the typography section. Now the problem is, is sometimes that, um, uh, depending on your screen layout, you actually might just see drop caps. So I need to click on typography because my screen is just a little small screen there. So click on typography and drop caps, and, and there we have it, basically there. There's lots of different drop, cap, drop caps available. Uh, if you want a basic one, just click on that one there, and there you have it. You've got your drop caps. Excellent. Um, now, you might have seen that there are a few other options with that. So let's move myself down throughout the way, just down the bottom here. So if I click, so making sure I'm still in the paragraph, if I click on the topography drop-down list, go to drop caps, and down at the bottom you can see an option that says custom drop cap there. So that's the one we're going to click on, custom drop cap. Uh, let's just zoom in so we can really see the options here. Now we've got the dropped cap, so let's say for instance we want to drop it by so many letters, uh, or the size of the letters is measured by the line height. So at the moment you can see it's four lines, if I go down here I can see it's three, I click on apply, and over here you can see, well it's only going one, two, three lines down. Excellent. So basically you could say, well, you know what, I want it three lines down, but I want this little L just to go two lines down. So what I can do is if I choose over here and I just do one, two, click on apply. Uh, oops, sorry, two lines up. Let's just go, so it's only one line. There we go. So this one here is actually just doing one line up, basically from the three down. It's kind of weird, but it allows us to stick up at the top there. Basically you can have a muck around with this a little bit. Uh, let's just go back to drop caps here. We'll keep it at three lines. We'll click on apply and there we go. It's a lovely drop cap. Let's have a look get down here. Now we can customize the font, the style, or the color. So what we're going to do is just take the ticks out of each one of these here. And then, for instance, with the font, that looks dead boring. Well, basically, it's same, picking up the same font uh, as, our, as our paragraph, basically. So if we click on this drop-down list here, and then we'll have a quick look, and we'll find what else we can do here. So let's just have a quick scroll down. I mean, there's just tons of them here. Uh, what have we got here? Da, 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 da. Here we go, black. Here we go. We can have a black ad. Uh, yeah, here we go. Um, <laughs> I think only our UK friends would understand that reference, but here we go. Uh, font style, regular. That's good. Let's change the color. Uh, let's change it to uh, a nice blue color here. That's great. Click on apply, and then we get that nice little black adder font here, and it's in blue. Brilliant. Click on OK, and there we have a fancy drop caps. Great, so there we have it, how to create a drop caps in Microsoft Publisher. So if you've liked this, please give us a thumb up, thumbs up, really appreciate it. If you've yet to do so, please subscribe to our channel, hit that notifications button so you don't miss a thing. Uh, I'll be producing more publisher videos. Uh, also, if you haven't already done so, take advantage or check out our website, computertutoring.co.uk. We have a new service called Live Online Instructor-Led Training. That's Live Online Instructor-Led Training. If I just um, 
and show you the website just here we go. Uh, so if you come to our website, Computer Tutoring, you can click on online training just here, uh, and then we can go to live online just here. If you haven't already done so, then take the time to check out that website on live online instructor-led training. Uh, there'll be either myself or one of our trainers to take you through any of the courses uh, on our website. So we'll be able to cover each one of them using uh, Zoom technology. So that's about it. Um, nothing else. We'll be more publisher videos to come. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching.